my dear friends and welcome to our first lesson on mixtures. Remember that mixtures is just a subdivision within the topic compound proportions and rates of work. So we want to tackle a past KCC question which was done in 1995, paper 1, question number 11. So it treats that Akinyi bought maize and beans from a wholesaler. Then she mixed the maize and beans in the ratio of 4 to 3. So there is usually a table that we use to solve the same. So you just have a small table here um, having the components that are stated within the question. So we are told that Akinyi bought maize and beans. So we have uh, maize, which I'm representing with M. Then we have beans, which I'm representing with uh, uh, B, or we can just talk of maize, then beans. Then, of course, after that, we have the mixture of the two. So we have a mixture of maize and beans. Then from this table, the first value that we indicate here is usually uh, the ratio, depending with the, the specifications of the question. Then after that, we come to the cost per kg if you are dealing with a kilogram. So the cost per kilogram. Then after that, we come to lastly what we call the total cost. The total cost involved. The total cost. The total cost involved. So we are told that Akinyi bought maize and beans from a wholesaler. Then she mixed the maize and beans in the ratio of 4 to 3. So this one simply means the ratio of maize is 4, then the ratio of beans is 3. So you just come to your ratios. Of course, the ratio, it is in kg. So the ratio of maize is actually 4, then the ratio of beans is actually 3. Then now the mixture will have the total ratio. So 4 plus 3 will actually get a total ratio of the mixture, which is 7 in this particular case. Then we go to the cost per kg. We are told that she bought... Uh, the maize at 21 shillings per kg. So the cost per kg of maize was actually 21 shillings. Then um, and uh, the beans at 42 shillings per kg. So the cost per kg for the beans, we are told that it is 42 shillings. Then from there, we move to the total cost. So to find the total cost, you will be taking the ratio multiplied by the cost per kg. Remember this ratio, the ratio is in kilogram. That is the ratio in which they were divided Remember, we are dividing the maize and beans, and those maize and beans, we are told they are in kilograms. Therefore, the ratio is also in kilograms. So if the cost per kg, if 1 kg costs 21 shillings, what about a ratio of 4, or what about 4 kg? So the total ratio in this case, you just take 4, you multiply it by 21. So if I take 4, multiply it by 21, I'll simply get 84 shillings. So that is the, the cost for the maize, the total cost for this particular ratio of maize, we go to the beans. If uh, the cost for one kilogram of beans was 42 shillings, what about the cost for three kilograms of uh, beans? So you will just take three by 42. So three uh, multiplied by 42, I'll simply get 126, 126 shillings. Then we find the total cost. The total cost, you simply add the total cost for maize and the total cost for the beans. So I'll simply take uh, 84. I'll take 84. Then I add 126 so that I, I get the total cost for the mixture, which is actually 210. So I'm getting 210. Then from there, we are told that uh, if she was to make a profit of 30%, what should be the selling price? Remember, for you to find the selling price, you must have the buying price, then we are given the percentage profit. So we'll find what we call the uh, cost package, that is the cost price, so the cost price of the mixture, the cost price of the mixture per kg, which is also called the buying price of the mixture, buying price of the mixture, that is per kg, that is for one kilogram, will be given by the following. So to find the cost price or the buying price, you will just take the total cost, the total cost of the mixture divided by the total ratio, divided by the total ratio. So which will be equal to the total cost of the mixture, we have found it as 210. Remember these are shillings. Huh? So we have 210 shillings divided by the total ratio. Remember the ratio is in a um, kilogram, so 7 is actually in Kilogram. So this is in kilogram because the ratio of beans and maize was in kilogram. So the total ratio is 
actually 7 kg so this will give us a buying price or a cost price of i'll simply take 210 then i divide by the total ratio which is 7 so that will give me 30 so remember these are shillings per kg so the cost price of the mixture is actually uh, 30 shillings per kg 30 shillings per kilogram so that is the buying price or the cost price of the mixture but the question wants us to find we are told that if she was to make a profit of 30 percent what should be the selling price of one kg of the mixture so remember selling price they there is a way in which they are connected we are told that um, the profit if she was to make a profit of 30 percent so that means if we are talking of a profit you will simply add to 100 so that you get um that is 130 percent so remember that selling price selling price is equals to so if we are told that they they have to make a profit of uh, 30 percent so you just take the your profit of a hundred percent of course the percentage profit of a hundred percent then you multiply by the buying price or the cost price so the selling price uh the selling price will be given by so percentage profit so because we are told that uh she was to make a profit of 30 percent it means the profit in this case you'll just add to a hundred so that it comes to one uh 30 percent remember if she was to make a loss you could have taken 100 minus 30 so that you you just find 70 percent of the buying price but because we are talking of a profit it means the selling price will always be given by you'll take 100 plus the 30 percent that you are given remember all these are percentage then divided by 100 percent then you multiply by the buying price or the cost price so remember selling price is, will be 130 percent of the buying price which is equal to 130 percent divided by 100 percent multiplied by the buying price so the buying price per kg or the cost price per kg was 30 shillings per kg so multiplied by uh, 30 shillings per kilogram which will give us so let me just compute it here so i have um, 130 multiplied by uh, 130 over 100 then i multiplied by 30 shillings per kg so this will give me 39 shillings per kg so uh, if she was to make a profit of 30 percent she could have uh, used or sold the maize using a selling price of 39 shillings per kilogram 39 shillings per kilogram so that is how to handle such questions so this is the simplest procedure that is you can use to easily solve such a question so expect more examples from our next lesson involving mixtures this is kind tuition academy until next time